Ladies and gentlemen, this YouTube channel vlog show is of authenticity, inspiration, and realness. It is also about personality, good times, and fun. This is Eric Lehman Shenanigans of 1977. And now, here is your host of the show, Mr. Big Beefy E himself, the elder statesman of Rant and Rave, and Mr. Shenanigans himself, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977 to before I end the night um, and go to bed and you know, wake up tomorrow for Saturday. We got the uh, SmackDown, um, NXT Level Up, SmackDown Event Center for, for the 10th of November, and it is the fallout from Crown Jewel. This ought to be fun. I kicked off. Um, Kevin Owens comes out with a tie on and everything else. He says that he asked Nick Aldis to um, fill in for Corey Graves, which because Corey Graves um, and his wife Carmella just had a baby boy this past Wednesday. So congratulations to both Corey and Carmella. So Kevin Owens decided to go out in commentary. LWO enters the ring to address what happened at Crown Jewel. Rey Mysterio says I've had nothing for the brass knucks. But Carlito came out and said, Hey, you don't want to talk about it? Talk about what? And he goes, The brass knucks. You know, blame Santos Escobar. He actually left them there for, you know. But then Santos Escobar was like, you know, taken aback by that. And he ended up um, walking out. Didn't want to deal with it. So, and, and, uh, <clears throat> So, Ray Mysterio and Lena Vega decided to go chase after him while Carlito had his matchup against Bobby Lashley and Joaquin Wild and uh, Cruz del Toro decided to stay at ringside um, to back him up against the uh, Street Profits, which got involved during the matchup, but then both uh, Wild and del, Tor del Toro tried to fight back, but the Profits, Street Profits were too much for them. And so... And then Santos Escobar comes back and decided to fight against um, both members of Street Profits. Then Bobby Lashley ended up picking up the victory over Carlito. And then they all jump him after the matchup. Rey Mysterio chases him off with a steel chair. And then, you know, Escobar and Mysterio were arguing about Carlito. And he said, hey, listen, we're family. We're familiar. We're together. I'm going to go we'll check up on Carlito. So he checks up on Carlito. And while, you know, like I said, when Bobby Lashley Street Profits attacked Carlito, Santos Escobar kind of stood there and watched it. And, uh, and then, you know, Mister and then at when while Mysterio was helping Carlito up, Escobar starts attacking Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio goes, hey, what's wrong with you, you know, and all that. And, uh, and then Mysterio tries to apologize to Escobar. Escobar attacks him again. And then... Mysterio's leg goes caught in between the steps and the ring. And then Santos Escobar ran, runs into the stairs, kicks the stairs right into Mysterio's legs. Delina Vega comes out in tears, saying, what are you doing, Santos? And Santos goes, he's, he's I'm done. And he walks out. And then Escobar trying to walk away. Kathy Kelly interviews him, and, she go, and he goes, Rey Mysterio had it coming. You know, you know but beforehand... Uh, Santos Escobar was telling him, hey, you know, I respected you, man. I respected you, you know. You know, and I, you know, you're my hero. So, LWO is coming apart at the seams. But what about damage control? That's coming up next. Bailey decided to address what happened to damage control to the Columbus cloud. So, Bailey calls out EO Sky and says, hey, we got to talk this like adults. EO Sky, Dakota Kai, and Kyrie Sane come out, came out to enter the ring and respond to Bailey. And EO goes... This is my plan. You know, this is the EO era, right? You always tell me that. And and then Dakota Kai convinced uh, Bailey that Kyrie Sane makes damage control stronger. And so, but then Kyrie Sane responds to Bailey that she forgives and respects Bailey. And all four hug it out and Bailey starts smiling. Bianca Belair comes out and said, Hey, I'm not the only one who's upset with you guys. Charlotte Flair comes out. And then there's someone else that's not very happy about Kyrie Sane. Asuka comes out. And so, but found out that all three, it'll be a six-woman tag matchup, Charlotte Flair, Asuka, and Bianca Belair to go up against Damage Control. 
Looks like Kyrie Sane's officially a new member of Damage Control. But wait, there's more on that situation story. Dragon Lee went one-on-one -on -one with Cedric Alexander in a rematch, and Dragon Lee won again. LA Knight comes out to address the Columbus crowd about Crown Jewel, what happened, then Grayson Waller, that Aussie loudmouth, interrupts Knight, and um, like I said, no one NXT rivalry renews. Remember Halloween Havoc a couple of years ago. And uh, both men decide to fight it out, and then Knight embarrasses Waller. So like WWE chess, Knight takes Jester. LA Knight went one-on-one -on -one with Grayson Waller. And, uh, you know, Grayson Waller ended up losing the matchup. L.A. Knight won. So Kevin Owens, dude, he was on commentary. He's just having fun with the telestrator. He says, here's how, you know, how, uh, you know, Grayson Waller's reaction. And he goes, that reminds me of the reaction that guy a couple of weeks ago when I punched him both, him and uh, Theory in the face, he says. So he had the telestrator to demonstrate it and looks at the face and, both Kevin uh, Patrick and Michael Cole were very entertained about this. They were cracking up a storm. And all of a sudden, you know, it got to the point where, you know, Kevin Owens was going to do it again. And so, and uh, let's, let's go over this again. And then Waller and Austin Theory came out to taunt Owens. They poured water on him, you know, to shove. And <clears throat> he decided to throw the bottle at Kevin Patrick. He goes, you know, the shove I can take, the water pour I can take. But he just threw... Um, you know, he just threw uh, um, he just threw some water at, and he threw a water bottle at you. Then, uh, I'm sorry, but I want to go get suspended. So he attacked both Grayson Waller and you know, and uh, <clears throat> and and Austin Theory. So. Well, Grayson Waller and Austin Theory can got their wish. They, they got, you know, unless they want to match against Kevin Owens, they're going to have to beg uh, Nick Aldis not to suspend him. But whatever, you know. It happened and happened. And so, then Jimmy Uso addressed um, LA Knight. He says, we're going out next week. Yeet. And then Roman Reigns calls him. No yeet. <laughs> well, he doesn't like yeeting? You know, Roman Reigns hates the yeet. I don't know why Roman Reigns hates the yeet. But here's the six-woman tag. Oscar, Charlotte Flair, Bianca Belair, and Damage Control. But here's where it gets crazy. You know, the match was going great. It was going all around until Bianca Belair went to go reach for a tag. Oscar was like, you know, not being desperate. And then as Bianca Belair reached up, Oscar spit and missed in the face of... of uh, Bianca Belair. And so, then they attack Bianca Belair. And then it ended up during a no contest. It's like Oscar attacking. And then all of a sudden, Oscar hugs EO, uh, Kyrie. And they go, they call EO in. They start hugging. Then they call Bailey in. All four women hug. Oscar has joined Damage Control. This Damage Control is going to be a very, very lethal, lethal stable. You got Oscar. EO and Kyrie now all on the same team. A lot of people wanted this, and it's going to happen. And I'll tell you one thing right now. I think they'll lead them at the war games where all three of these ladies will turn on Bailey. You know, who knows for sure what's going to happen. But right now, you know, <clears throat> right now you have Asuka, EO, Kyrie, and Bailey. And if Dakota Kai gets cleared. I wouldn't be surprised if she's the fifth woman for for, for these war game match women's war games. Well, so they all attacked Charlotte and uh, Bianca. Shotzi, who had Char who recruited Charlotte, decided to return the favor and help out. She gets attacked as well. And and now all five of these women: Oscar, Io Sky, Kyrie Sane, Bailey, and Dakota Kai, all stand tall. This is going to be crazy. NXT level up a couple of matches. Gigi Dolan, the lovely Gigi Dolan, and now she's newly engaged. Congratulations to her. She went up against Stevie Turner. Dolan had won. Recoup um, that was as a recovery from her match against, uh, you know, Blair Devonport in that Lights Out matchup. But Kelly Kincaid interviewed the new team of Tyson Boop Dupont and, Ty and Tyreek Igwe um, as they face Gallus. And in Gallus, the more experienced team, former NXT Tag Team Champs, did pick up the victory over the new coming team of... Tyreek Igwe and Tyson Dupont. So, 
that is all the time we have on the show. Episode 993. That means seven more episodes away from from 1,000. Thank you for tuning in. And until the next episode comes rolling around, Mr. Announcer, take us home. This concludes today's episode. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, do it for Bob Saget Productions, and in association with a Raven Bova Telepictures and Distribution. See you next time on another episode of the show. Goodbye for now.